this is the beginning of our uh, this is the beginning of our episode right here. This is it. Oh, I really I want that flub that you just said at the beginning. What that included in the I didn't make you, a flub. You can't prove yeah, that you I made did. a flub. Oh, because, you're gonna edit it out. I edited it out. I I edited no. it out. No. Yeah. No. Wait. Are you? Are you? Aren't you the doctor on All American? <laughs> Good morning, everybody, and welcome lettuce. to Two Guys Talking About Lettuce. Oh, I love lettuce so much. I had to create a podcast lettuce. with Craig Benzine about it. My name is Greg Benson, and I'm and Craig that's Benzine. Craig Benzine. No, you don't have to say it. I said it. Oh, oh I don't say that? All right, let's no, try it again. No, no. Hi, everybody. Okay. I'm, so Greg I'm Craig Benson, Benzine, and that's, and that's Craig Benz- Benson. I don't think we're doing this right. It's we're a little out of practice because we skipped okay. a week. All right, okay. one, two, three. That's Welcome Greg Benson, to and two I'm guys. Greg Benzine. Oh, I don't really understand. Okay, okay. I'm just cutting you off, Greg, because I know what you're gonna do. So I had to, I had to, <laughs> I had to stop it from happening. Your face looks huge today. My face looks tiny compared to you. For those of you who are watching on video, am I right? Yeah. Craig Benzine's got an enormous face today. I think it's always like that. Why did your face it's get an- so huge? It's always like that. This is yeah? my face is always uh or did you zoom it in or you, something? You got a big big face. Did you zoom it in, Greg? Why did no, you zoom it in? No, I didn't zoom it in, but I could I could I could see if I could make you smaller. Hang on. All right. Oh. Let's, let's see. see. That's that's oh. about that's about as little as you get. There. That's a I mean that's sensible. That's a yeah. sensible size face. Now you now you have a sensible face. Good to see you, Craigus. Yeah. Hey, hey, and I'm wearing a robe right now. Oh my god, and and I'm wearing a black shirt. But you're wearing black. I mean, your robe is actually not black, is it's like a super dark pattern. It's a green. Yeah, it's a dark green. Oh yeah, but it's cold in my basement, so I'm wearing a robe. Yeah, that. Listen, why is it cold in your basement? It's like it's like 78 degrees outside. Greg, we live in different parts of the world. There's different weather in different parts of the world. Okay, I mean, whatever you say. I, uh, it, I'm listen, I'm not gonna argue with you. I'm just gonna like I'll just like pretend mm. to agree with you. Oh yes, you're right. Oh typical, yes, we live in separate parts of the world. Uh, typical Los Angelino, <laughs> just a, a typical Los Angelino thinks the world doesn't matter. It's only California. You know, I've talked to a lot of people in California who don't even know where Wisconsin is. They don't even know. Wisconsin. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> what is this? What is this Wisconsin? And how can I uh, meet it? Uh, it's Wisconsin. It's a state. It's okay. one of the fifty. It's uh, uh, the capital is Madison. Um, mm-hmm. I that's I live in the Madison area, and, um, and that's the you sure that's the capital? Yes, I can see the Capitol building. I see it almost every day, actually. Yeah, I still don't think that's correct. I don't, it doesn't. It doesn't sound right. Madison, Wisconsin. That doesn't sound yes. right. No, really, that doesn't yeah. sound right to you. Doesn't doesn't huh. sound right. I don't think that's correct. What? Have you heard of Milwaukee, Wisconsin? That sounds that sounds that sounds more correct. Yeah, that's the capital. That sounds no, no, more that's correct a, to me. No, no, it's the big. It's a bigger city, but it's not. Yeah, let's just let's just capital. agree that that's the capital and move on. No, no, it's not though. <laughs> I can't agree. I can't agree with you. Come on, agree with yeah. me. Why are you always fighting me? Just agree with uh, me that Milwaukee's the capital. Capital hmm. of Wisconsin. I said capital. Did I mean, that's that? kind of how we talk here. Ke- yeah. Hey, I'm in Wisconsin. Yeah. What's the capital? Oh, it's Milwaukee. <laughs> it is. Are you sure? Yeah, it's Milwaukee. That's <laughs> no, no, the capital. No, that's more, that sounds more uh, New York now. Sounds well, more I know like some New Yorkers moved New to New Jersey, maybe. Yeah, some New Jersey people yeah. moved to Wisconsin. That's what I was trying to do. Yeah. Okay. I was All trying right. to do that. Um, Listen, before we move on, I feel like I feel like you need to apologize to our listeners for uh-huh. the horrible uh, Joyce DeWitt episode recently. Um, uh, you know, mm-hmm. you, uh, you were not available that week yeah. and, and all hell broke loose when I had to bring on Joyce DeWitt and it really did yeah. not go as planned. I, I wouldn't know. I didn't, I didn't listen. So, uh, wait, you brought on Joyce DeWitt? <sighs> well, I'm a little embarrassed to say that I was fooled yeah. because it turns out that, and I don't oh. mean to spoil it for those of you who haven't listened to the Joyce DeWitt episode, but I'm going to go ahead and spoil it. Uh, yeah. that was not the real Joyce DeWitt. It turns out that was another actress whom I know who went on the podcast simply because I asked her to go on the podcast and pretend that she was Joyce DeWitt, and that's what she did. And I am uh, horrified, embarrassed, and I'm and honestly furious. I mean, you know me, I get furious. Um, 
You know, it's weird to me that you're so horrified and embarrassed and furious now. Mm-hmm. When we had an episode before, we haven't. We've had an episode since that episode, and now we have this episode. Maybe Why did we'll, it take you two episodes to get may, upset? Maybe we'll switch the upload dates. Do you ever think that maybe we'll upload this one as the next episode af- after the Joyce Do It episode? Okay. All right. Maybe we should. Yeah. Because then, because then I'm directly, I'm directly apologizing, or you are, for the last yeah. episode. Okay. It would um, be, it would be confusing actually if we didn't switch them. That way, we'll be especially surprised at whatever we talked about in the other episode. Oh yeah. I now I'm very confused. What's happening? I'm. Uh, I think we're gonna we're for the first time we're gonna upload these in an order that we did not previously oh. haven't done no let's not let's not let's just keep it i i like i like having your reaction to the joyce dewitt episode too late two, i like two that. episodes late okay if yeah, you want yeah. we could we could then do some other episodes and upload them before this one so i apologize for the joyce dewitt episode like eight episodes later <laughs> okay let's make this episode <laughs> like very far into the future okay Oh. Like so much could happen. So much like world events could like oh, yeah. change everything that Man. everyone's talking about. Did you and hear then... about how Antarctica exploded? Did you hear about that? The, oh my god. The Antarctic exploded. Well, how did that happen? I, I'm still wondering how that happened. They snuck like, in some fireworks and then and then uh, they uh, it, it set off a chain reaction with the penguins, and then one penguin after that, another what? just combusted. <laughs> penguins will combust. Okay, okay, that doesn't yeah. make any sense. No, it's first that's of what all, that's what penguins do. First of all, do. penguins don't combust like that. Yes, they do. Secondly, I highly doubt there's enough of them to set off a chain reaction. Oh, there are so many, so many penguins. Of, yeah, but enough to destroy a continent? I don't, yes. I don't know, I don't know about that. It destroyed the whole continent because there are, yeah. there are literally tens of penguins in the Antarctic. There are so many. And well, okay. Now I think you're wrong. I think there are more than tens of. of I penguins. mean, minimum. I, yeah. I mean, I, what I meant okay. to say is that there are at minimum at least three to four penguins mm-hmm. in the Antarctic, or possibly even more than that. Mm-hmm. And they, oh, those they explode. They well, I mean, anything explodes with enough uh, dynamite around. Yeah, if you, you try, you're on, right. You can quote me on that. Yeah, you can quote me. You're right. Yeah. If you try hard enough. Anything yeah. explodes. That's if you, true. If you try hard enough, anything can explode. Is the title of this episode, by the but way? But I don't understand how it would set off a chain reaction. I don't understand, like, what one penguin exploding would cause another penguin to explode. <laughs> well, uh, you see, penguins stick together, and okay. and they don't want. No one wants to be left out, you know. And they're like, "Oh, yeah. Jerry's exploding. I guess I'll explode." And people are like, "Hal, what are you doing?" And and Hal's like, yeah. "Shut up, Susan." I'm trying to explode okay. here. And then he explodes. And then Susan's like, well, I guess if Hal exploded, I'll explode. And then suddenly Janice is like, hey, uh, oh, no, okay. Susan, don't you explode, too. Do you I- think nature is like a cartoon? Do you think uh, you <laughs> no. think these are talking penguins and they have human names? <laughs> well, uh, obviously, obviously they do. I don't think it's like a cartoon, though. I think it's live okay. action. I mean, oh, I'm not a crazy okay. person. I think oh, it's like, I think nature it's live is action. live action. Yeah. yeah. Well, Nature is live action, like a live action Hollywood movie. Yeah. yeah pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Pretty much. Uh, it's not how it is. Have you seen the movie March of the Pen- Penguins? Have yes, I did. And, and let me tell you something. I, 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 as much as they say that it was, I don't think that they shot that in March. I think that's, a, that's ridiculous uh, to assume. Yeah. That, that just because they title why, it that. Why, why don't you think they t- shot it in March? What well, gave because- you... I mean, yeah. because, like the the if you notice the weather keeps changing, and like I bet they mm-hmm. shot it much much longer than just in the in the in, in the, the month of March, in the month yeah, of like March. the time span. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's r- ridiculous to call it March of the Penguins when they well, also uh, shot it throughout the year. Well, but if some of it's March, I feel like that's okay to to call it March. Like, nah. let's uh, let's see, uh, like the movie. Uh, have you seen the movie Patriot Day? I don't think that whole movie takes place on Patriot Day. It does. It does. It's like it's like my dinner Most with Andre. Most of it does. My yeah. dinner with Andre like yeah. takes place all at a dinner that yeah. that they that guy had with Andre. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. And they talk about things, mm-hmm. you know. But I mean, that's but, all you need okay. in a movie. All right. Sure. I'm going to bring up another issue, in which is uh, they're referring to the the act of marching, the verb, not the not the month of March. 
Oh. <laughs> can you give me your? <laughs> can you get? <laughs> can you give me your best impression of uh, Morgan Freeman? Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay. Hello, I'm Morgan Freeman. I'm the him uh, Take a look at the penguins and marching around. Yeah, Morgan Freeman here. Boy, think, oh no, boy, oh no, boy, no. oh boy. No, you're you're doing uh, Gilbert Godfrey as a rabbi. It sounds like what is what you're doing. Okay, I don't I don't really understand what you want from me. Okay. Um, I wanted Morgan Freeman. That's... <laughs> let's hear your Morgan Freeman. If, why, if, why don't you if, understand? If, if, if you uh, know impressions so well, let's see if your Morgan Freeman's any better. <clears throat> he would never uh, clear his voice like that. Morgan oh. Freeman never. Because you know what? That's bad oh, for the okay. vocal cords. He would never do that. Is that bad for the vocal cords? Yeah, you're not to supposed your to clear your voice like that. I mean, I do sometimes anyway, but apparently it, it's like, I don't know what it does. Maybe it <clears throat> gets some, some of the acid from your throat up into your vocal cords and not uh-huh. good for you or whatever. I don't know what it does, but it's not good for you. Well, I, I feel like it's probably fine. It's probably worse to let whatever's in there linger, I would think. Now and see now I'm now I'm self conscious and I feel like I need to clear my throat. I'm just gonna drink some water. Here, you go ahead and do okay. your impression. I'll drink some water. I'm gonna drink some water too, mm, actually. Mm. Whoa, you're drinking that water exactly like Morgan Freeman would. Yeah. Yes, I am. That yes. was good. Uh and and the penguins marched. God, look at all the penguins, they're marching. Uh, oh my goodness, look at all the marching penguins. This whole movie was shot in, in this in March. Remember how no. he, may I remember I said that? He said no, that no. in the movie. No, he did not say that. Uh, from all. March 1 to March 32nd. So listen, uh, yeah. I've got a true story to share with you. Okay. Uh, this is a true story, and it's uh, it's a little shocking, but every word of this no. is true. No, went, th- now you 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 said it was true three times, which leads me to believe it's not true. No, no, this is all. a true. I swear, okay. I okay. swear to Jimmy, this is true. I went to the store, and mm. I bought some furniture polish. I bought it at the ninety nine cent store. I'll be honest with you. I thought I thought I'd save some money, buy some furniture polish at the ninety nine cent store. You know, I don't mm-hmm. know what they charge for name brand pledge, but I'm sure it's more than ninety nine cents. So they, here they had some off brand, and it's just called furniture polish. So I brought it home. Uh-huh. Yeah. Sprayed it on the furniture. Got got this wood furniture, you know. Sprayed it on the furniture, uh-huh. and true story. I swear to you, the furniture started speaking another language and had a very thick accent, and I couldn't figure out. I don't speak that language, whatever it is. It took me a while, but I figured out. It turn, t- turns out I bought furniture Polish. Oh, yeah. Okay, and, it, and yeah. It, this is absolutely true. And it, yeah. it turned my furniture. Here's the thing. I'm glad this Polish. is a true story because yeah. if this weren't true, this would be a bad story. This no, would be a really no, this, dumb story. No, this just happened Based to me yesterday. Yeah. This and my furniture yeah. is still speaking Polish, and I don't know what to do about it. And and I tried okay. returning it to the 99 cent store, and they're like, "We'll give you your money back, but it's not gonna not gonna change how your furniture is now." And I said, "Well, can I wipe yeah. it off? Uh, do you have any furniture unPolish?" And they're like, "No, we don't sell that." Yeah. Yeah, okay. so I'm so frankly, I'm angry at the 99 cent store. Well, what do you have against Polish people, Greg? No, no, I have nothing against it. But when I'm trying to watch a movie and yeah. I'm sitting on like some furniture that's speaking Polish, I can't concentrate on the movie. You know, listen, I'm, yeah, if this is true, yeah, which it is, it is true. It's not no, true. This is no. true. Uh, but the if it were, true. yeah. This is a blessing. You have talking furniture. That's amazing. <laughs> you, you should you, make that you think it's going to be a blessing. It is a curse. If your uh, furniture talks to you, especially if you're you trying should, to take a nap on it, oh my God, it's like shut up already. You could do a couple things. Yeah. You could you could sell it to science and probably and probably make some money. I called up because, science. Science did not want to buy it. I said well, I got there's ta- more than one place pol- to call. No, I called I called one eight hundred science and they didn't they didn't want it. That's not even a thing. It is. But but if, uh, if you okay. call, well, maybe if you pick thing. up your phone right now and call one eight hundred science. Let's see what happens. Why don't you okay. pick up your phone and dial it? Okay. All Here right. Remember oh, to spell it correctly. Well, Does I don't know where your phone. Is. I don't know where your phone is, Craig. I don't. I don't have all. I can't live your life for you. Uh, all right. Well, <laughs> I have all the answers. Yeah, I can. Te- I can text on my computer. Whoa. Also, Damn. so I should. Um, next time I can't find my phone, I'm going to text you on my computer and ask oh, you where a, where it is. Okay. Uh. So. Listen. 1-800-SCIENCE. Just call it. You'll see what happens. Okay. 
One. <clears throat> this is so exciting. Be sure to put it on speakerphone. We all want to hear it. I... Uh, tells me. He tells me 1-800-SCIENCE doesn't exist. You're about to eat your word. You're about to have a mouthful of words. You won't even, well, you it won't, is the, you won't even want lunch. You'll be so full from your mouthful of words that you have the to, right, that you're eating. the right amount of numbers. Of course it is. Um, I'm kind of afraid to call it. No, just call uh, it. It's free Okay, number. I'm calling. All right, I'm calling. Speaker phone. Let's hear it. Wait, I got How do I put it Get on ready. Speaker? Get ready to munch on them words. Okay. okay. Yum, 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 yum. Yummy words. Hello, and please listen carefully as their menu options may have changed. Calls are recorded for quality assurance. Closer to the microphone, please. We're very excited to tell you about a special promotion for select callers. Oh. It will only take a moment. Great. By answering just a few questions, okay. you can find out if this offer is right for you. Great. All right. Are you or someone in your household 65 years of age or older? Yes. Um, say yes. Press one for yes. Press one for yes. Okay. You, you want to you be positive. Say yes to everything. Okay. Otherwise, All right. if you have a red, white, and blue Medicare card and would like to save money, lower your doctor co pays, yeah. or receive additional benefits, <laughs> say yes. please press one now. Okay. One for yes. Yeah. Don't miss out if you have. Please hold for the next event. <laughs> this is great. Oh, no. Or did you hang I'm up? Hanging up. I'm oh, hanging up. Oh, you hung up. Oh, man. The up. best part is when you get to talk to a real person about science. They, now, I'm any, worried. I, that's just going to lead to more spam calls. I'm any, just going to get more spam calls. Let me just tell you this. Any question yeah. that you have about science, you call up 1-800-SCIENCE. They will yeah. answer anything for you. They'll, that they, seemed they, more like that was about Medicare. They, um, would, they would probably even be able to tell you how you can get your furniture to stop speaking Polish. Um, you know, and you hung up on them. You 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 could have saved me. Uh, Greg. Yeah, I, that could have led to spam calls. That could have been. I could have. I could have been scammed in some way. I got scared. Okay, I got scared. All right, all right. I, I understand. I it's listen. It's scary. It's scary to dial a phone and talk to people. I understand. It's very <laughs> scary. You work in your home. You stay in your home most of the time. I understand. It's listen. Some things are frightening. Yeah. It Speaking seemed of, like it was about Medicare, not science, though. It didn't seem like that was about Medicare, science, science same thing. Um, it's the exact same thing. Um, no, that's not, it's not the same. That's yes. A, yes. Medicare is a, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a government program. Mm -hmm. It's not so science. just like science. I guess it's, it might be uh, associated with political si science. Science is a government program. Okay. And if you, if you want some science, you call off the government at 1-800-SCIENCE. You say, hey, government, give me some science. And they'll be like, sure, where do you want me to send it to you? They mail you a big box of science, you know, okay. with, and it's got some Medicare in it. It's like, I just think it's, I think this is a great country that you can just call a phone number and get a big, a big free box of if, science. If I start getting more spam calls, I am yeah. going to be pissed. You are welcome. You're okay. welcome. All right. You're welcome. Listen, it's not, not my fault you didn't yeah. block your number before making that call. You should know to block your number before you call 1-800-SCIENCE. I who, guess I guess. Who doesn't know that? Speaking of who doesn't know things, this episode is sponsored by Cheesebook.com. Would you like to read a book about cheese? Then visit Cheesebook.com, where they only sell one thing, and that is a book about cheese. That's Cheesebook.com, available on the World Wide Internet. And how much money are we getting for that? Cheesebook.com? They didn't say. They just they said they said it just depends on how many people buy the book. Um, I mean, it's an actual website. Cheesebook.com yeah. is an actual website. Yes. Can you? Of course it is. They're our sponsor. Are you reading the book right now? Are you reading the book about uh, cheese? It's it's several books. It's a, it's a website that's got several books about cheese. Actually. Wow. Cheesebook.com. Man, that is. I'm so glad we were able to give them a shout out. <laughs> uh, more the more people who buy the cheese books, I'm I'm guessing they'll probably send us some money just to say thank you. I'm thinking that's uh, how that works. I don't know really how sponsorships work. Oh wait, so they didn't actually tell you to say that? I'm no, I'm just thinking. I'm being proactive because I because they say that time favors the proactive man, and so. <laughs> uh, yeah, time favors the proactive man. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's so, the old that's the old saying. Yeah, it's fr it's from right. the Isaac Asimov book. Wait, I don't get it. So, like, if you're proactive, you get more time. You get more get time. Time favors more time the to, to be time, alive. Time or? favors the proactive man. It's the um, it's the, it's the sleeping giant who wakes the worm. You know. Um. Wait. So you don't want to wake the worm, so you don't want to sleep, or you? It's the sleep. It's a sleeping giant who wakes the worm. 
You yeah. Know, you know what? You know what, old, that, what does that have to do with um, being proactive? You know the old saying: uh, Alex yeah. Karras was surprisingly funny in Blazing Saddles. Uh, so, uh, how does that apply to everyday life? How does uh, him being funny in Blazing if you, Saddles? If you watch Blazing Saddles every day, that that absolutely yeah. applies to your life. You know, uh, you got to stop being if, so close-minded, uh, Craig. What's the matter? You don't like comedy? Blazing Saddles I, is a very funny movie. Not watching Blazing Saddles every single day <laughs> does not make me close-minded. <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly what a close-minded person would say. Uh, it is a good. I think it's a hilarious movie. Finally, hilarious. finally, you say we. How many episodes um, have we done now? Twenty-seven several, episodes, and this is the very, first time you finally say that Blazing Saddles is a hilarious movie. Several very problematic jokes in there, though, Greg. Oh, I'm sure. Not gonna lie to you. Oh, well, abs- well absolutely. It was the nineteen seventies. <laughs> what are you gonna do? You're talking about yeah. a movie that was made fifty years ago. That's true. That's true. I'm just warning people if they decide to go check it out. Oh and my they god! Have never is it, seen has it. it come to that? Are we so yes. sensitive that if someone goes to watch a comedy movie made 50 years ago, they're going to be like, oh, my gosh, the words, my ears, my Some ears people. are bleeding from the words. Some people, yeah. Well, or they if, might. If someone's yeah. ears bleed from the words in Blazing Saddles, then I yeah, I feel sorry for Well, that for might be ears. a different issue. That might be a different issue if your ears bleed from just hearing things. I think that might be a problem. Speaking of your ears but, bleeding from different things, it is uh, yeah. <laughs> it is now time for the Patreon-only bonus section, the section that uh, you that... do not hear on Apple Podcasts unless Craig as- accidentally uploads the wrong, the wrong yes. audio file like he did for the Time to Administer Panic video. And and yeah. an episode, he really fucked that up. Yeah. Here we go, Patreon folks. <laughs> it starts right now. <laughs> this portion of Two Guys Talking About Lettuce has been edited out for your listening inconvenience. If you wish to hear the complete, unedited version with the bonus talking, be sure to visit patreon.com slash Two guys talking about lettuce. And now, back to the edited, not-as-good version of the podcast. And that's the end of the okay. Patreon-only bonus section. Man, it was a good one today. We talked about... Uh, well, I don't want to say. I don't want to say what we talked about. Why? Because you're going to get you know. me in legal trouble? Yes. Yes, exactly. I, you think I think I would get in legal legal trouble from what we talked about on the Patreon bonus section today. Well, yeah, and I I might talk to the authorities after this. I just don't want to talk about it here. When you, you know? say you talk to the authorities, is yeah. that is that a like a punk band? That seems like a good name for the for a punk band. They call themselves the Authorities. I like mean a, that does sound like, that is a good bun. That's a uh, good name, name for like a punk band. Oh yeah, yeah. The, remember yeah. the Authorities? They started in seventy seven. They were on Stiff Records. Yeah. And they yeah. remember the authorities. They had a yeah. they had a hit song with "Hey Jim, how's your grandmother's leg?" Now that's not a good <laughs> punk song. I don't think. I mean, kinda. But uh, "Hey it, Jim, how's your grandmother's leg?" Great, it's a great song though. It is. It uh, is a great song. I do love that song. Oh, you've heard that song. Oh, of how's course. it go? How's that song go? Sing it with me. Hey, hey Jim, Jim. This is supposed to be a punk your- song. <laughs> Well, it was one of their rare ballads. Okay. All right. The authorities, every once in a while, did throw on a ballad on their okay. al- In fact, most of their al- if most of their albums were just ballads. Oh, just so this very, doesn't sound like a punk band at all. That's that's the problem that a lot of their fans ended up like their fa- I, their fans kind of gave up on them after about six or seven years. They're like, this punk band is just releasing albums full of ballads about somebody's well, they- grandmother's leg. Well, it's amazing that they <laughs> gathered fans in the first place. I don't know how they did that. They stuck around for six or seven years. I feel like uh, they had a really good PR person. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. May- and maybe it maybe maybe just they made really good music videos. Okay, you know, but then and but people- then the people expected punk. I don't understand why they expected punk because then. they were on Stiff Records. They were on a, they were on a label that okay. did a lot of like new wave and punk stuff. Okay, Stiff Records, you know, six- Stiff Records, early Elvis Costello, I'm Nick Lowe, quest- stuff like that. I know I question everything, Greg, yeah. but I'm just I'm just questioning the, the motivation of all these people. Why would they stick around? Why would they? I mean, 
You're going to have to call them and find out. Give them a call. 1-800-SCIENCE. Let's sing this ballad. Yeah. Hey, Jim. How's your grandmother's leg? I wish she were here so we could have chili like we did last year at the thing. Oh, man. You know, listen. You know, what... When you hear lyrics like that, it just yeah. makes you feel like, well, what's the point in me ever writing a song? I can, I can never, I can never reach that level. I know. You that's know? how I feel. Yeah. yeah. That's why I, I don't write songs anymore. Oh, good. Do you not write yeah. songs anymore? Uh, well, it's it's been like a year. I, I did a video where I wrote thirty mm-hmm. songs in thirty days last yeah. year. And uh, very short songs, written... I'm guessing. Short songs. Mm, not all of them, but kind of short. Yeah, most yeah. of them were like two minutes, I think. Um, I find but, it much easier to write short songs than long songs. I think I, when I released my uh, my album, The Genesis of Greg Benson, uh, yep. which you can get, I don't know, somewhere maybe. Oh, if you join my Patreon, you can get it. Uh, okay. But uh, when I released that album, uh, it's got like 50 songs on it. But some of the songs are as short as like eight or 10 seconds. Some of them are really, really short. Well, that is definitely easier to write uh, it is, an eight or 10 seconds. It is easier. Yeah, it only It only took me like a couple hours to write a song that short. Um, I feel like you could. It, that's a little long for how for how long it should take. But I'm, I mean, I just I want to make sure they're perfect. You know, I mean, uh, maybe maybe you, you could perf- maybe you could write one shorter than that, like in a, in less time. But I probably it's not, could. Not yeah. gonna be as good as the ones I wrote. I'm I'm gonna write one right now. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab my guitar. Hang on. Mm-hmm. Oh man, this is so exciting. I know one thing that our podcast listeners and viewers enjoy on this podcast is when Craig grabs his magical green guitar. Yep. And and plays a little song, makes up a song for us. In fact, yep. somebody somebody who's who's listening right now, go ahead and go ahead and give us a a, a topic. Okay, I'm here. All right, we're gonna go with that one. All right, so one of our one of our listeners has suggested yeah. Saran Wrap. Okay, well, this isn't a live stream, so I think this is just you. I just got the notification. One of our listeners suggested it's it was the first one that came through clearly. Saran yes, it is Saran Wrap. So let's hear let's hear your song. About Saran Wrap. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Susan Sarandon wraps per Saran, which is in Saran Wrap. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that is the worst thing I've ever heard in my <laughs> life. That was that was horrible. That was great. Can, can Susan we, Sarandon mm-hmm. yeah. wraps her sarandwiches uh-huh. in saran wrap. Oh, my God. I mean, yeah. I mean, look. It, yeah. Look, a baby could have written a better song than that. <laughs> a newborn baby. You, a you, baby can't doesn't have have uh, fine motor skills. A baby couldn't uh, play a, a, a chord. A baby um, could pop out of his mommy's tummy. Or or hers, her mommy's time yeah, could be okay. a girl, and and grab a guitar, to, to talking about three minutes old, and write a better Saran rap song than that. Boy, Greg, if you are half as harsh with your own songs, <laughs> I can see why it takes you two hours. Yeah, to write a song. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I did. Okay. I did spend two hours writing a song about Saran rap yesterday. And oh, okay, it, it came out really, really well. I'm really, I'm really proud of it. Was it an eight second song? It's a little. It's like a little. It's about twenty seconds. Okay, you're gonna have to do. You're gonna have to do it now. All right. There's yeah. a hole in the saran wrap today, and I know that it won't go away. There's a hole in the saran wrap, and I don't know what to do. So I'll write a song about it to you. Oh yeah. So I'll write a song about it to you. There you go. Wrote that okay. yesterday. That's that's pretty good. Oh no, and it's not pretty good. It's amazing. <laughs> well, well, I, I I don't know about that. No. Oh no. It's amazing. Yeah. Okay. It is amazing. All, All right, right, Craig. Now we have reached the uh the part of the podcast that everybody is always excited about the the, mm-hmm. the parenting stories section of the podcast oh, yeah. where we talk about right, right. parenting stories. So what so uh, you after you put your guitar away or down or whatever you want to do, uh, I mm-hmm. would love for you to tell me about one of your unique parenting skills. That you're proud of. Um. <clears throat> well, I 
I know most people listen to this podcast for our our parenting advice. Oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah. So, my my unique parenting skill. Yeah, yeah. What is a unique that, parenting skill that you're proud of? You know, I I think I'm pretty good at just making my kid laugh. Oh yeah, that's mm-hmm. important. Yeah. Like if you're at a I, funeral uh, or whatever, and she's feeling really sad. Yeah. You know, she lost someone special to her. Uh, I don't know that she's been to a funeral. Well, actually. you better yeah. pra- you you better practice your jokes in preparation for one, though. Um, if you yeah. want to make well, her laugh, she's gonna be really sad that day. Yeah, I may I might wait until after the funeral. I don't think I need to do it at the funeral. Okay, I mean, I mean, I feel like I feel like a a dad who really commits to making their child laugh would do it anywhere, like no exceptions. Why? I feel like I feel like there's appropriate times to laugh and not appropriate times to laugh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Was that inappropriate? No, no, that was fine. Oh, me, me laughing now is it, see. I don't know. I listen. I don't know all your rules. <laughs> you, got, you got a lot of rules, Craig, about when it's okay to laugh and when it's not okay to laugh. Well, funerals. Uh, I mean, if someone's speaking at a funeral and makes a joke, yeah. which can happen, that might be an appropriate time to laugh a little bit, but. I don't you don't I don't need to make a kid laugh out like have an outburst mm. of laughter at a funeral. I don't, <laughs> I don't really, All right. Really. All right. So so pick something else. Yeah. Like let let's just say that like you're you're a doctor and you're giving someone the news that they have leukemia. Now then now that's okay. a good time to be able to make someone laugh because it lightens up a horrible situation. Uh mm, no. I mean I I feel like it, it, it sort of depends. Like read the room, you know, you know, depending on how 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 they feel about their leukemia, wow. you know, yeah. Okay, and so, how, so so different people like, would feel differently about being told the news. the news. Yeah. Well, when you deliver the news of yeah. the leukemia, that's yeah. not a time to joke. Absolutely not. Okay. But maybe you know, minutes, ten minutes, twenty minutes, ten later, minutes later, on what you're talking about, depending on what you're talking about, depending on what they're talking about, you know. I just feel like you're digging a some hole people, for yourself. Some yeah. people have some people have morbid senses of humor yeah. about things. You know? Yeah. So I not, think it could be appropriate later, but not while you are delivering the news. I feel like what you're doing here is you've named a unique parenting skill that you have, which frankly, not all that unique. I mean, a lot, a lot of, a lot of parents make their kids laugh. Uh, but yeah. n- and now you're just watering it down. You're you're making it so that it's not as useful as as originally claimed. Um, no, I feel like, uh, it's quite useful to make your kid laugh, especially they could get into a bad mood and you want to lighten the mood, Mm -hmm. you know, that's a great time to make a kid laugh. Why are they in a bad mood? Because of the leukemia diagnosis? (laughs) Uh, no, uh, no. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe Mm -hmm. I, 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 I doubt it. Mm -hmm. That's, I mean, let's just, let's just stop talking about it. Yeah. I mean, I I didn't listen. You brought it up. I mean, that's, that's the parenting Uh, skill that you brought up. No, no. I mean, okay. So, what's your parenting skill, Greg? Oh, I'll tell you. My my wife yeah. and I are very. I was yeah. almost I almost said my wife without actually saying yeah. it correctly. We are yeah. very proud of our follow through. Like a lot of parents don't have follow through. You know how when some okay. people say they're going to count to three if their kid doesn't do something, but they never get to three. We always get to yeah. three. In fact, sometimes we'll just jump right to three. We're like, you okay. put you put that down before I count to three. Up oh, three, and then and we just get right to three. Because a lot of parents don't follow through. But I'll give you another example. This is a good okay, example. Okay, all right. Okay. When we go somewhere, like a restaurant, somewhere we're inside, a movie theater or a restaurant, and you know how parents are always saying like, uh, oh, b- use your inside voice. We're inside. Use your inside voice. Hey, that's fine. A lot of parents do that. We do that too. Use your inside yeah. voice. But yeah. we follow through. What a lot of parents don't do is that when th- later they go outside with the kids, they don't yeah. insist that their child use their outside voice. And so we're okay. always, every time we go outside, we're like, what? I can't hear you. Got to use your uh-huh. outside voice. And and everything outside has to be, has to be screamed. <laughs> top, of, top of the lungs screaming. That's the outside voice. The, the fact that you're laughing when you say it, I mean, I feel like you're, you, uh, it sounds like you're playing some sort of weird trick on your kid. No, it's, like we a weird do prank. it, we do it because it's funny. It is funny okay. to always insist that when you're outside, yeah. the child must use their outside voice. What? Because what? What does yeah. that make sense? 
Oh an, oh, an inside voice has to be inside, but uh, but outside you also want them to use an inf- inside voice? Doesn't make any sense. Okay. Uh, mm, I think outside, you, you you know what? You're right. You're absolutely right, Greg. I Thank agree you. with your parenting choice. Thank you. I have uh, nailed parenting. I've, I've nailed time, the parenting skills. Every time we're outside, we should all scream. We should scream yeah. to the top of our lungs everything we say. Yeah. Because you got to make sure other people hear you. But when you're inside, that's too loud because the, the the noise bounces off the walls and it reverberates and you can't Abs- really hear. Absolutely. See, you know say. what I'm talking about. Now yeah. now we have synchronicity. Yeah. You know? Okay. So th- so I guess that makes you a pretty good parent. Yeah. Oh, no. It makes me the best parent. All right. All right. <laughs> For those uh, of you who are only listening, Craig actually rolled his eyes after I said that. He actually rolled his his eyes. Yeah, you might be able to hear hear it here. Listen. Oh yeah, no, I definitely heard the I heard the eye roll there. Man, you've got loud eyeballs. Yeah, yeah. You've got very loud eyeballs. I've I have how we've done like what? 29, 37 episodes by now. I haven't even yeah. I've never noticed how loud your eyeballs are. Uh there's a big difference between 29 and 37. Right. I know. I remember when I was 29, I'm like, man, I can't wait to be 37. And then when I was 37, I was like, man, I wish I was still 29. That is that is the catch-22 about aging. You always want to be older, yeah. and then you always want to be younger. Do you want to be older right now? Yeah, I wish I was like 73. That's yeah. so weird. Wouldn't that be great? That's, I mean, no. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I It'd guess you're right. Fine. It could be fine. Oh, it's going to it's gonna be really... fine. It's going to be yeah. fine when I'm 73. Yeah, but I don't see why you would want to look forward to it. That's like true. What, what That's would true. be better about your life at seventy three? You know, there is there is an argument to be made that like when as you get older, you you have more license to just say whatever you want, and people just ex- tolerate you. you well, know? that's that's true. Yeah, you yeah, can be as old. racist as you like. <laughs> is that what you mean? <laughs> No, no, that's not what I mean. I mean, you can though. I mean, people do tolerate that I, in old people. I do find I do find yeah. that a lot of people are are more. But I feel I feel like the the older people who are racist are racist sort of by accident. They're like, what? This is just what we said in the 1950s. Yeah. You know. So uh, I feel I feel like it's by accident a lot of time. A so, lot of time, not all the time. Not all the time, but sometimes you got to sort of give them a give them a pass. Yeah. Well, people do anyways. People give them a pass and that and so it is true that when as you get older, you get, you know, you're in some ways more free. Yeah. You're more free to do what to be to be you. When I uh when I was in high school every once in a while I had a hall pass. I don't know if that's the same thing. Um in a way, it kind of is. Yeah. It's I like get- it's like a hall pass for life. Yeah. yeah. And it gave me permission to walk around mm-hmm. in the halls. Uh-huh. So, there you go. There, there, there you go. Uh, what, what, what do you think the perfect age is, Greg? The perfect age. Two. Be? Why? You know, you can speak at two. You can express yourself. But yet, you don't have to work. Somewhat. Yeah. It's just, you just get to hang out. You don't even, you know, you can walk if you want. You can still crawl if you feel like crawling around. Nobody's going to, like, give you the side sure. eye. You know, like, when sure. you go to, like, a sizzler and you're, like, crawling yeah. on top of the salad bar and people give you the side eye? Yeah. They're not going to give you the side eye if you're uh, two years old crawling on top of the salad bar. First of all, I've never been to a sizzler. You know what? Secondly, I, I have, and I don't recommend it. Okay. And I've never crawled on a salad bar or wanted to. Oh, you need I, to. It. You know why? Yeah. Because why? Once, if you take your shoes off and you crawl in that salad yeah. bar, just the feeling of all the lettuce. Hey, I'm talking about lettuce on our podcast. Oh, look at that. Look at that. The lettuce on your knees and your in between your toes. Oh, my God. It's yeah. cool and refreshing. It feels great. It fe- okay. I recommend that everybody take their shoes off next time they go to a Sizzler and just crawl across that salad bar. Do you bar. get kicked out when you do that? Absolutely. Do you, uh, Absolutely. Yeah. But then, guess what? You don't have to pay. Yeah. If you've already, if if you're crawling across the salad bar, you pop a couple of croutons in your mouth, maybe one of those tiny yeah. little tomatoes. What are they yeah. called? Cherry tomatoes? I uh, yes, yes. Make up your mind. Is it a cherry or a tomato? That's what I always say. Make up your mind. Okay. I mean, it's a tomato, but cherry is just sort of an adjective describing yeah. the tomato. Kid, do you have you ever had a cherry that's like, oh, try this, it's a tomato cherry. 
No. See, that's um, that's my that's my point exactly. Because I can't think of a cherry that resembles a tomato. See, that's my so, point exactly. It makes no sense whatsoever. No, it makes a little sense because the tomato kind of represents a cherry. It, it, it looks kind of like a cherry. The cherry ones do because they're yeah. smaller. What if you get a cherry that looks exactly like a tomato? But it's, you don't. That just doesn't happen. You might. You if might. you did, don't be then so- I'd say... Call it a tomato cherry, goddammit. That's what I would say. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. so what I'm yeah. saying is, everybody, please go visit your local Sizzler. Take your shoes and socks off. Crawl across the salad bar. You're going to really enjoy yourself. Grab a mm-hmm. couple of croutons on your way out of the, of the restaurant as you get kicked out or as they call the police or whatever. Yeah. And just enjoy your life. You know, we all just and, need, yeah. I feel like we all need to enjoy our lives more. And, and I want to take what you said and uh, firmly reject it. I say don't do that at all. But yeah, go on, okay. please. All right. Hey, yeah. listen, that's yeah. the thing about this podcast. Everyone is entitled yeah. to their own opinion. And some of those opinions like mine are correct. Some like yours are yeah. incorrect. And that's just um, what life is. Life is full of people who are correct and people who are not correct. That's no, just no. what life is. Uh, uh, people are, all people are sometimes correct and sometimes not correct. And um, I don't agree with that. Uh, okay. Oh, and I know. I know why you say tend that. to be incorrect yeah. a lot. No, this, no, I know. I know podcast. why you say that because you say incorrect <laughs> things and I say correct things. That's probably no, no, why. No, no, no. It's not I, think, true. I say I say lots of correct things I'm pretty and, sure. and sometimes incorrect things. But um, where'd, you, where'd you read about that? Cheesebook.com. Uh, read about my own correctness. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Where'd, uh, where'd you read about that? Where'd you get this info? Uh, just from my experience, from my okay. mind, from my memories. All right. Fair enough. Um, dot my memories dot com. Oh, yeah, I got to go visit that. I want to I want to check out some of your memories. OK. Yeah. So, yeah, my me- if anyone wants to check out my memories. Yeah. Craig's memories. Yeah. Go to my memories dot com and all of my memories will be there. They will. They will. It's more of like a experience rather than like reading my memories. It will. It, the internet will wash over you with my memories. Mymemories.com is a is a website. It is a it is a digital scrapbook website. And oh, uh, oh wait, yeah. they oh my my domain must have I must have let it lapse and they took it. You know what's weird is they sell Dang a it. spider webs and bugs kit there for only three dollars. Oh, I don't really understand why that's on mymemories.com. This is uh, this website looks like it was created in 1997 and never updated. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. Uh, why is there a spider? What I don't. You know what? What? Listen. Why is it that just about any website that you can think of, like I, like let's just let, let's make up one. Horse laugh. Horselaugh dot com. I'm gonna go to horse laugh. I'm gonna go there too. Horse laugh. Oh, it's a real website. No, it says here this website can't be reached. Oh no, wait. Oh, because oh. I, I have the HTTPS. Hang on a second. Maybe okay. it's not secure. Oh my god. Oh my god. It actually is a real website. Yep. Yep. It is. Horselaugh.com. Yeah. Oh my god. What in the hell? Yeah. It's, it's about ulcers. And, it's a. Uh, it's a crazy website. Yes. Yeah. Oh my god. It's a website. It's a website created by a crazy person. Yes. Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> Why in the world did I mention horselaugh.com? I guess you have to be a crazy person to buy horselaugh.com and then yeah. talk about autistic children <laughs> on antibiotics. I mean, that is I mean, that's a crazy person right there. I got I got to get the word out about autistic children on uh, antibiotics. How do I how do I, I, how do I make a website? Uh, j- just I'm going to call it horselaugh.com. That's going to get the word out. They're going to talk about me on lettuce podcasts. Grandpa, you don't know what you're talking about. Trust me. Trust me. 20 years from now on the lettuce podcast, there's going to be two men who have similar names and they're going to talk about horselaugh.com and they're going to send their viewers there. Trust me, I'm going to talk about the autistic children taking antibiotics. That's how I'm going to get the word that the girl, the girl, the girl, the girl. Yeah. Yeah. The, what, I, gotta, I have to admit my headphone jack came out halfway through what you were saying, so I only heard that That's ending. good. You really didn't want to hear that. And that is the uh, end of this week's lettuce. episode of Two Guys. I'm talking about lettuce. He's talking about lettuce. I'm Greg Benson. 
Oh, I'm Horse is. Laugh Benzene. Oh my gosh, Horse Laugh Benzene, it's been a pleasure hanging out with you as always. I hope that you enjoy your week. And that goes for all of you listeners too. Enjoy your week. And I will end the episode the way I always do. Talking about <laughs>